happening right now, a vigil is taking place to honor the life of this woman here. A DC mother, Pamela Thomas, was shot and killed by a stray bullet that hit her car last Wednesday in Northeast DC. Her eight year old son Rufus was right beside her at the time when this happened. Our Mike Valerio is live in Northeast DC where family, friends and loved ones are remembering her at this moment. And Mike, I bet this is so tough because that pain is still so fresh. Yeah, you know, Lorenzo, it is, I think, understatement of the evening right there. And we have balloons arriving from loved ones and members of the Metropolitan Police Department. To give you an idea of where we are, we are right at the foot of Marvin Gay Park, pretty much exactly where this happened. Last Wednesday, for viewers who are unfamiliar with what happened, picture a mom, her sister, and an eight-year-old in a car going to a birthday party, 5.30 in the afternoon, pretty much exactly time of day where we are right now. There is a volley of gunfire, and one of the bullets comes through this car and kills this mother while her eight-year-old is sitting next to her with a sheet cake. So, you know, I just spoke with the mother's sister, Marilyn Thomas, a couple minutes ago. She's in the orange parka towards the left side of our field of view by the balloons. And, you know, she was smiling, and I said, Marilyn, how in God's name are you smiling right now? And she said, because I know I have all these people who care about what happened to my sister. They're going to be out here tonight. The police are going to be out here tonight. And we're going to let everybody in Northeast know that we're not standing for this. You know, there was a big initiative revealed by the mayor's office and MPD and ATF today to try to crack down on these kind of crimes specifically. And the person who killed Pamela Thomas is still out there. So bottom line, Lorenzo, we're going to be out here for the next half hour to 45 minutes being with the family. They have a GoFundMe that has exceeded $30,000. And if anything, they wanted to say everybody watching tonight, thank you. Your kindness has not gone unnoticed. So yeah, I've been speaking with his family, Mike, and, and that's all they say. They, they love this community support. It, it's really helping them get through this tough period. And you know, if you feel touched, by this story and you want to donate to a campaign helping this family, just text community to this number right here, 202-895-5599, and we'll text you back with a link to our reporting, the Invisible Hand Foundation's campaign, and link to a GoFundMe created by the family.